Every aspect of Stonehenge has attracted attention over the years, and that includes its sound. Dr. Rupert Till has created a model of Stonehenge as it was when it was complete. He says the sound inside the circle would have reverberated and echoed, being amplified by the stones and drawing everyone in. Paul is finding out how noisy Stonehenge can get. So Rupert, here we are on a lovely summer solstice evening outside Stonehenge and the one thing that strikes you is the beats coming out of there. The acoustics are good in there and this is what you're, you have been investigating, isn't it? In my background, sound. So what struck me immediately about this space was what it sounded like inside. And so we wanted to model that sound and hear what it might have sounded like 5,000 years ago. So you have essentially developed a time machine, if you like, that allows people to go back, what, 5,000 years or so? Yeah, about then, to when Stonehenge was first built and possibly to look at how it changed over time and also of course uh, where the sun rose might change slightly in terms of where the stones are and where they weren't so we can see that with our model. Presumably sound was quite different if there was many more stones. Yes it really encloses you when you go inside you can't really see out you can't really see in you and the sound is the same it's really kept inside in the space. Sound would have been part of a ritual in the way it is in most cultures. It's not all about sound, it's one piece of a jigsaw 